Here's up guys, this one is all about knees. Now a knee is um, how a compressor acts once it, once it gets over the threshold. So if, yeah, we'll set up an example, high ratio. So this is a hard knee and this would be a soft knee. A hard knee, nothing happens until after um, the, the peak goes over the threshold, then it reacts, right? If you have this, it starts to react a little bit before the signal, um, so you get more of a smoother uh, compression. It's not so apparent. Right? It's just, it, it's basically like a hard or soft knee. It makes, it makes it a, a little bit more uh, smooth, um, and that's basically what it's used for. Um, so say you wanted a, uh, a clap per se we have this let's uh, bring it on down right so that's pretty intense and apparent we'll have a softer uh, knee setting it's softer right we could do that on other audio too so right you can see it right here it's compressing um, a little before it uh, goes to the threshold. So this is compressing um, with a hard knee. So you can see how that sounds. Just experiment. Uh, I won't get into it anymore because, uh, you know, it's mostly... You don't really use it that much unless you're dealing with a smoother material. So you use like a, a a soft knee for vocals or something that needs something a bit more, you know, tuning or not tuning, uh, something some a, bit, a bit more it it makes the, the compressor not so reactive, it doesn't grab onto the audio um, and, but a hard knee is very reactive uh, so yeah, we'll check it out here, check this out So we get a, we, it's, it's subtle, but we get a smoother uh, compression. Um, I, I'd see it as a soft knee would be more of a, a tube compressor, an older one. That's not so reactive to the signal, it kind of rides it. Like the uh, 670, you know, uh, pig child, you know, fair child. Um, anything that's tube modeled uh, has a knee similar to this. Uh, a little bit more, you know, complex, um, but something uh, VCA uh, or like solid state, you get something that really grabs onto it. Um, and yeah, um, it's just uh, think of the knee that corresponds with the ratio and the threshold. Um, so you get something that's really hard. So anything, anything that goes above the threshold only is affected. Um, but if you have, you know, a soft knee, some things below the threshold are already affected. It's really interesting when you think about it. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, hard and soft knees. Hope I explained it correctly. Try it out yourself. All right.